Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Akko's first silent tactile switch, the Akko Penguin Switch. This was sent over to me by Akko themselves for my honest review. Now this is a tactile switch with an operating force of 43 grams, a total travel distance of 3.3 millimeters, a pre-travel distance of 2 millimeters, and a tactile start at only 0.4 millimeters. The tactile force is 58 grams and apparently the bottom out force is 60 grams. And something also to mention is that the spring is 16 millimeters which is on a little bit of the shorter side. A lot of specs that I just went over but let's go deep in detail about what this switch actually has to offer. So right out of the box I think that they're pretty decent stock you know they don't have a lot of scratch or ping and they are definitely an upgrade over their previous silent switch I think it was the pink haze which was their first silent switch and I think they kind of missed the mark on that one it was very scratchy pingy mushy feeling it just was not good. Good. They definitely do have a slight scratch to them, of course, they're stock, they aren't lubed, but the ping and ticking is non-existent. Now you might feel the scratch a little bit, but it's definitely not something you would hear, especially because these switches are of course silent. Now the tactile bump is way at the top of the switch, which is what I prefer, so I quite like typing on these. Now I will say if you like the tactile bump towards the middle of the switch, this one probably isn't for you, but if you're like me, then definitely check these out. Honestly, the tactile bump is, I guess, light medium. It does feel a little bit on the lighter side, so if you're also interested in lighter tactiles, this could also be another option. Here's a quick sound test of how they sound. Now they are definitely silent of course but the thing that I like about them is they're not that mushy feeling. And coming at a price point of $13.99 for 45 switches, of course like all of the other Akko switches these are definitely very affordable. And I do think they're a tad bit better than the Wookie Studios silent tactiles as well because those have issues with ticking on the leaf and these don't really have that and are a bit cheaper. Now that short travel distance and shorter spring might not be the best for other people that type heavy you know this is definitely on the lighter side of things when it comes to the actuation force and the total travel distance and all of that so if you're a heavy typer maybe don't look at these but i think that kind of goes for a lot of aqua switches a lot of them tend to be on the lighter side of things and this one is no different if you are interested in the aqua penguin switches i'll be leaving a link to them in the description below for you to check out and let me know what you guys thought about these switches in the comments down below now see you guys in the next one. Peace.